In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Lomo effect, and it's so fast and easy, I'm not even going to show you what this looks like when it's done. Just follow along, because we'll be through it in like a minute and a half flat. So the Lomo effect is a fairly popular technique in photography. It is overdone way, way too much. But if you know how to create it, you know how to control it, and that's half the battle. Here's how you create the Lomo effect. It's very, very simple. It takes one adjustment layer. You go layer, new adjustment layer, curves to create a curves adjustment layer. We can even name it Lomo if we want to be romantic and cute about it. All right, here's what you do. You basically boost the contrast of your image by dragging a little point here down, maybe a little point up here up, right? We've just increased contrast. I also like to drag the bottom point up, up, up. It just really gives me like this nice fade in the shadowy parts of my image. Then we select the color drop down menu and choose the red channel. I like to throw some red in the highlights of my image, just like so. Now here's the important stuff. We go to the green channel. We pull down on the bottom of the green line. That infuses our shadows with a dose of magenta. And then we pull up on the top part of the green line, which pours some green into our highlights, just like that. You can see it's, it's, the effect is already overdone. Don't worry, we're gonna dial it in. Then you go to the blue channel, and in the blue channel, we are gonna pull up on the bottom, right? Because we're, we're gonna pour some blue into our shadows, and we're gonna pull down on the top, which infuses the highlights with this creamy yellow color. You can see, there we have this very like retro, what's called a Lomo effect. All right, so there's before, there's after, and here's the key. Dial it back, use this subtly. You can dial this back and maybe to like 50% opacity because it's its own adjustment layer. There's before, there's after. And just like that, we've created a Lomo effect in Photoshop that can be applied to any photograph. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you go check out www.tutvid.com for more free Photoshop tutorials. Thanks guys. Hey wait, stop. Before you click away from this video, I just want to remind you if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that little like button. It helps this video go up. And going up is what I like. That's what we want to do. If you also have a couple more seconds, go ahead and leave a comment. That's cool too. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, check out either of these two videos right here for more of the stuff that I do. This hand is weird. Right there. Thanks guys.